everyone. This is Joy with Create It With Joy, and I'm so thankful that you are joining me today. Um, today I've made a card using Honeybee Stamps Bushel and a Peck Stamp and Dies. Um, what I love about this is that the die is so large that it is the centerpiece of the card. So what I'm going to be doing is using my Misty. I took out the foam insert because I'm going to be using Simon Says Stamp Gingham Background Cling Stamp. And so it's already thick, so you don't need that foam piece in there. I was so excited to get this stamp. I've been wanting it forever, so super glad. What I'm going to be doing is stamping it up with Simon Says Stamp Clear Embossing Ink. And I'm going to be using um, Liquid Platinum Embossing Powder. First, I'm prepping it with uh, my anti-static tool so you don't have um, embossing powder sticking where you don't want it. Um, oil from our fingerprints, grabbing the paper, things like that. So I'm gonna stamp it up really good, press it down really good. So I want to apologize for my left hand there. I had surgery a few days prior to that, well, a week prior to that. And um, apparently during surgery, they needed to take my blood and they took it out of my hand. and. I don't ever bruise like that, but oh my goodness, it was so swollen when I came out. And so it's pretty ugly looking, but it's all good. So I stamped it a couple times. You can see still that I didn't get the most perfect image, partly because at this point after surgery, I really didn't have a ton of energy to push hard. Um, and if I wasn't using such a big image to cover it up, I would have kept, I would have stamped it again and made sure that got um, that spot got taken care of, but I knew I was going to be covering it up. So I wasn't super worried about it. Uh, make sure your heat tool is nice and warm, heat it up, less warping on your paper. And I don't know about you, but I really do love watching embossing powder change. There's something extremely weirdly satisfying about that. So heat it up, flip it around. Um, I love the liquid platinum embossing powder, and I think I forgot to write down the name of who it was, um, but it'll be down in my description below. Now, those images I'd already colored on part of my recovery for surgery, and so the colors that I used were R35, 37, and 39 for the red, E57, and 55. Um, LG 3 and 5, which is a Spectrum Noir markers for the green. And this stamp set is super cute. It comes with two sizes of apples, um, which I think looks great. Also, I'm using the Lawn Fawn Large Stitched rec Rectangle Stackables. And I'm cutting that out of um, Nina 110 Pound Smooth Desert Storm. It came in one of my Simon Says Stamp card kits. I think it was the November card kit. And I just really kind of liked this brown look. And even though you've got this, um, the embossing powder in the back, which makes it kind of shiny. So I don't know, there's a little bit of bling in there. I needed way more apples to fill this up. So there's the colors that I used. And I stamped with Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. It is um, Copic friendly. And so I'm just gonna be coloring these red and green apples. Super simple, super fast, super cute. And I'm actually making this card for somebody who was super sweet to me um, in regards to my surgery. Well, I had, I had lots of people super sweet to me, so I have lots of thank you cards to make, but here is one of them. I just look ridiculous trying to take these lids off the markers. My hand hurts so bad. <laughs> and so trying to push a marker on or take the lid off was really kind of a joke. But you know, when you have the urge to craft, you have the urge to craft. It was time to make cards. I think I went a whole week without making any and it was rough. So I'm just shading here with the LG3 and LG5. Uh, I mean, super simple. And then I'm going to go in with the reds. And that's the Copic markers. And I'm going to start with um, R35, and then 39, and then 37. 
kind of a, the 35 is kind of like a pinky red, but then you add those other dark, darker colors and it really um, makes this a really look at, good looking red apple. Again, adding the darker shadows, blending it out with the lighter color, or the medium color, excuse me. And then going back over that again with the lighter red. And also what I did was I took the darkest of the red and the darkest of the green, and added a little bit of dots um, to this just to give it a little more character, a little more depth. So there's the little dots there. It really does make a huge difference. Now these have coordinating dies, um, and I ended up cutting these out by hand because it was really hard to run my hold on to my die cutting machine with my left hand. So I just cut these out by hand because really they're super simple. So I'm using my Tombow mono adhesive uh, tape runner, adhering that um, embossed background. And I just used um, Nina Classic Crest Solar White for the background that was embossed. And I also cut that out of um, one of the rectangle dies, I think the second size down of the Lawn Fawn Large Stitched Rectangle Stackables. So I need to add the sentiment. And it says, I feel so loved. And I really wanted the sentiment to be small because quite honestly, this, you know, basket of apples takes up the whole front and I didn't want to take away from that look. So I think it was perfect that, um, that, you know, you could have that tiny sentiment on the rim of the basket. I wanted this image to be front and center. And then I embossed that with white embossing powder. Really, this card is a super fast, really quite simple card to make. And I'm gonna line the back of this with foam tape because I do want a little bit of dimension because I'm gonna be stacking those apples on the inside and the back. But I did realize I needed to move that, that, that down because I need a little bit of room for the apples to slide behind the lip of that basket. And so, just got that lined up and you can see that it covers <laughs> the spots that I did not emboss very well. So in my usual joy style, I need to lay everything out first because I just cannot visually picture it unless I <laughs> lay it out first. And then just trimming up some things so they can be lower down or higher up, however it works. But these little apples are so cute. So, so cute. I mean, really, you could use this basket for anything. You could put cute little critters coming out of this basket. Um, you can use the apples, um, like with the Lawn Fawn, you're the caramel apple of my eye, cute little stamp set. I mean, there's just, you know, mix and matching your stamp sets is a really, really smart thing to do because it really opens up, um, your world on, you know, how, how creative you can be. There's no limits. I mean, that is just so darn cute. So I'm going to glue these on. I need a little bit of foam tape um, on the back of, I believe, the red apple because it's going to be hanging off the edge of the basket. So we need that to be kind of level. How cute is that? And then I decided it need a, needed a little something else. So I took the little solid heart out of the stamp set and used uh, Lawn Fawn Lobster Red Dye Ink and just stamped a few little red hearts. And I just thought it was dang cute. And odd numbers are just way more pleasing to the eye. So if you're going to do something, you know, odd numbers tends to work really good. Now to all the apples, I'm going to be adding highlights. And normally I just do like a little straight line, a couple little dots. But then I realize sometimes on apples, they are, they have quite a bit of a shinier spot. So I kind of made this white line 
thicker and kind of thicker at the top and kind of tapered down um, towards the bottom. Um, I love it. <laughs> really super cute. And a little bit of highlights to the basket. I did not want to over highlight this basket because I didn't want the basket itself to feel shiny because to me it's an old rustic basket, but I did add a few little white dots. And then to the little, um, I don't know, little circles on that band, I added um, the Nouveau Crystal Drops and White Blizzard. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Um, I appreciate you. If you like what you saw, please thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel and please leave a comment. Thank you again and hope to see you guys back here real soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye.